Hey guys, here is part 3 of our trip through Demon Souls level 3 for the Fool's Idol's Archstone. And we stopped here where we first did some damage to the heart that is um, the revolving point, the center point of the whole level. Uh, and I did not have a clip of us killing these guys, so we have that here today. And then after this, we're going to make our way to Yurt the Silent Chief, which is an NPC that it, uh, if you let him live, he will be very annoying. So we'll show you what to do about that. And also there's a benefit to killing him. So sometimes um, being a good guy is not necessarily peaceful, but uh, it ended quickly for him. And we'll kind of explain more about that when we get to him. Um, here you can see us going through and um, really this is kind of a one-person quest. So it's... Um, kind of boring for other people that are with you, but uh, Kuro wanted to show me you know, where it was, he wanted to show me what to do, and also he's helping me through the level, which is a big benefit for me. Um, but when you get here, it's very easy to see where you are because you'll see all of the glowing lights around, and some of them are messages, some of them are items, so check all of them. Um, one of them will say attack, but what you'll do is you go up to the cage, and you will talk to Yurt, and he will introduce himself as somebody who is on your side, and he wants to fight the demons with you. So he asks you for help, because uh, for as strong as he is to fight the demons, he can't get out by himself. So what you're going to have to do is actually let him out, and if you don't do this, then you can proceed through the rest of the level. So uh, if you want to beat the game or finish uh, level 3 on the second part, then you're going to have to let him go. But after that, what you can do is try to knock him off. I was lucky and I got uh, a backstab on him which propelled him off of the edge. So he was trying to threaten me as he fell to his death. But after this... Um, what you can do is get his armor, and you don't see it here because what you have to do is actually quit and re-log. So, I didn't know about this, Kuro told me, uh, and you can't do this with the party there with you. So, he left, uh, and I went ahead and quit, and then I came back onto the game, and it picked up right where I left off, right here where we killed Yurt. And... I was able to see his armor in front of the cage. If you want to continue playing with your party afterwards, do not go in the cage because it will lock on you and take you to the next part. So I would suggest waiting if you want to continue playing with other people, but um, you can get the armor, which is a full set of gloom armor. There's the helmet, there's you know the chest part, there is um, boot, there are boots, there's gauntlets, and the full set kind of looks like this. So. Um, it's worth it to kill Yurt. <laughs> uh, plus, if you don't, then he kills everybody in the Nexus. So, just a heads up on that. But anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with our classic capture. And please like or subscribe us for more updates.